Hello folks, you found our secret hidden icon in the hub video. That's right, you found the elusive April O'Neil gear, which we were finally able to procure a couple of samples of. Much like the secret hidden passageway to a warp zone in Super Mario Brothers, you found the hidden review, and what a great one it is. Mm -hmm. Even though we clearly directed your attention to where to click. Either way, uh, still. You still watch the hub yeah. video, so good for you. Or. If you just found this uh, by searching for April O'Neil Review, then you have no idea what we're talking about. It would probably sound like uh, raving idiots, but still, thank but you still, for watching. Thank you either way. Mm -hmm. uh, so this must be the most Michael Bay figure of all the Ninja Turtles figures <laughs> that have been released so far. And no, Michael Bay is not directing the new Ninja Turtles movie. It's Jonathan Liebsman. It's not Michael Bay. He's producing the movie. However, Megan Fox is starring in it. We can't help but call it the Michael Bay movie, though. Everybody's doing it, so yep. we may as well, We're right? Jumping right in. It's a really interesting figure. We can't wait to tell you a little bit more about it, so let's have a closer look at April O'Neil. Alright guys, so here's our closer look at Miss April O'Neil. Miss O'Neil. Ooh. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, let's just start off right away with the paint application. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go for the face here. Uh, April, she's got a really good clean paint application on the face. Now, here's where you really got to be careful, because I went through a lot of samples of this figure. I probably saw uh, four or five of the location I was at. And the eyes vary wildly. I saw some eyes that were looking in different directions. Some were way down, almost on the cheeks. Some, uh, none of them were too high. No, the problem seems to be that the eyes are applied too low. But there's a lot of discrepancy with how the eyes come out. So really, really be careful. Uh, good clean work on the eyebrows up there. They look, you know, maybe a little cartoony, like a little drawn on. But still, it's all right. Uh, lips have really good clean paint work on them. The hair is, of course, just molded in the brown plastic. Uh, the shirt is gray. And there's no design on it in the movie. There is a design that's supposed to be on there, but, uh, you know, you can forgive that for a figure like this. Uh, there's no paint application here. It's just cast in yellow. With the pants, just cast in blue. Not really much paint. And down here we have some black on the boots. So, um, overall, pretty basic paint, but uh, it's got to work counts. Uh, you know, if you've watched the other reviews, you know that the articulation on this line isn't stellar. And unfortunately, April really has the least uh, of any of the figures. Uh, but it's 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 not too bad. Uh, she has a cut at the neck because she has a ball joint. Uh, but um, it's so inhibited by the, her hair hanging down, she she may as well not have one. Uh, unfortunately, um, that is actually uh, a point to watch out for. Uh, Jared found a couple of Aprils, and the first one he opened up, the head snapped right off when he tried to turn it. So be uh, on the lookout for that. Uh, if it feels like it's going to give way and break, it probably will. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that. But she has uh, cuts and uh, hinges at the shoulder, and she has a cut at the wrist, and then a cut at the waist. It uh, swivels pretty well. Uh, the jacket, again, kind of inhibits how much you can move it, but it does okay. And then there's a cut and a hinge uh, at the hip. So, uh, you know, just kind of the bare essentials. Uh, this is sort of standard uh, female character articulation we're getting in a lot of uh, mainline figures now. Uh, so, you know, not, not ideal, but, you know, it does the trick, and, uh, I guess we've not seen yet whether April's going to be doing a lot of action stuff in the movie, but, uh, she's, you know, she's got enough to, uh, get around, I suppose. Um, uh, one thing is the way that the legs move. I wish the knees bent because she's very difficult to stand up. Uh, we tried for a, a good solid three minutes earlier to make her stand after she, after she fell down, uh, in our establishing shot, and, uh, it was not easy. Uh, so if the knees um, had joints, I, I'd, I'd feel a little better. I think you could get her into better positions to stand, but it's uh, it's pretty difficult as it is. As for the sculpt on April, as we can see, uh, we've got a pretty good uh, sculpt for the face here. Uh, from the side, you can see the nose, the lips, and everything are formed really nicely. Uh, the hair is especially nice. It's probably the best aspect of the sculpt, actually. The hair is Done really, really super well. Uh, kind of like all the great detail we got in, uh, say, the back of Raphael's bandana. We have that same kind of good detail going on with her hair. Just really nicely done. Uh, I think the sculpt complements the paint really well. We go down here, the jacket. It's kind of just some ridges sculpted in it. Uh, the shirt has some nice sculpting as if it's kind of baggy a little bit. On the sides, we just have basic jacket sculpting. I like that they have this little seam in here. That really keeps it from looking uh, too plain. On uh, her jeans, they're just kind of just the straight leg, I guess. And we have little uh, seams on the side they've actually sculpted in. So, very nice. Some uh, little wrinkles there. And on the boots, we actually have some pretty good sculpting. Just kind of, you know, some uh, like dressy boots with just some... Yeah, like a little leather lines on them. Yeah. And then down here we have the heels. 
Now, the sculpting is actually kind of a problem when it comes to the standing we talked about earlier. Now, here's me just trying to stand her cold, and it sort of works, it's fine. But if you look, she's got like... Yeah. One foot is like extended out to the side, almost like she's posing. She's not like... For, let, let, her, let her stand there for a second. She's not very stable, like all you gotta... If you can understand. See now, and I didn't do anything to the legs just then. Yeah. Nothing. And she still won't... Okay. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's, uh, that's all it takes. Yeah. And uh, they sculpted one leg like to go out a little bit longer. You can see it there. It's pretty obvious. A uh, little strange. If you do anything with the legs other than what they want you to do, like you've got to have it exact. And you know, you'll get... Oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Good. That's That actually worked. Okay. Whatever I did there by some fortuitous design actually worked so you know that ain't bad pretty good uh, april comes with four accessories which is uh, a pretty goodly amount for this line it's usually two or one uh she actually comes with a uh i'm sure this will make sense once we've seen the movie it kind of makes sense for us in the context of the original uh film but she comes with a pair of Raphael size and i think these are sort of indicative of the idea that she is a companion figure to the uh, the the disguise Raphael because he doesn't come with any size. So if you get her and Raph in disguise, you've got a complete Raphael going. Uh, of course, she's a reporter, so she comes with her camera. A uh, very nicely sculpted little camera. Uh, you know, nothing too fancy, but it uh, does the trick. And then she has her uh, satchel here, which is a... I don't know if it's a purse or a camera bag. I think it's more like a camera bag, because it's not very... Uh, it's not a very fashionable purse, if that's what it is. And uh, again, it's, uh, it's very... Um, uh, utilitarian, uh, you know, it does the job, but it's it's uh, it's very well sculpted. A lot of good buckles and straps uh, sculpted onto it. Uh, no paint on any of the accessories, but that's and the bag doesn't open up. No, you know, no, you, it's just you can't put the camera in there. Yeah. That's kind of a shame. I would yeah. love for the bag to have opened up so you could store the camera yeah. since it's a small piece. Mm -hmm. But they're uh, very traditional uh, Playmates accessories, and they do the trick. All right, guys, it's comparison moment, <laughs> and here we go. Here we have April with the only other normal human being from the line, and that is the Shredder. Uh, although, I don't want to jump the gun on that. He may not be a normal human being, and the Shredder may be one guy or maybe another. We don't know. This new trailer has thrown us through a loop. Yeah, we got no clue. But anyway, here she is with the Shredder, and you can see he's definitely still the tallest figure in the line. But uh, very good scale between the two of them. All right, guys. Uh, next comparison we've got. We've got April alongside of two very uh, different kinds of characters in the film. We've got the very shortest character, supposedly, in the film, which is Splinter. And then we have the larger character in the film, which is Raphael. Now, you may be thinking, oh, Raphael and April, they're the same height, you know, when you look at it from the front. But if you go to the side, you'll see that Raphael is so hunched over in this uh, pose that they have him in. And his his knees are bent and April's are straight out. He's really actually... would a, probably be more like about yeah, that Yeah, it would tall. be like that. Mm -hmm. uh, not quite as big as the Shredder, but still quite a bit taller than she is. With Splinter, I mean, it's... It's obvious, even though Splinter's uh, knees are bent down a little bit. I, you know, he has a rodent. I don't think he's going to be standing straight up on his legs anytime <laughs> soon. So uh, I'm really, really glad that the line has such variance in height. It really makes it interesting. And you know, I mean, just you know, we we want to cover all the bases. Yeah, when it comes we want to make sure reviews. you guys know, you know, how so, compatible you know, this is going to be. Sometimes with we think of you know weird comparisons, so we just had these laying around. And here she is with the first version of the Turtle Com role playing toy. This is from 1991. You're going to need and to know that. As you can see, you know, I mean, she fits. You pretty. She can sort of hold it. Like if you put yeah. the belt clip in her hand. Yeah. She, you can almost see her like talking into like it. Like an elastic band tied around the figure to and the communicator. If you maybe? just if you if you open it up like that, it can almost be like a little in scale like computer that she can yes. work on. Yes. So you know, good good scale it's going there. Playmates. The Playmates was thinking ahead twenty three years when they sculpted this. That's right. Uh, speaking of that, and another amazing coincidence on the part of Playmates, which I congratulate these designers all the way back in uh, nineteen ninety four. Mm -hmm. Uh, which, you know, is 20 years ago. They sculpted this, the other Turtles communicator. And as you can see, wow, she's just in perfect scale with the communicator. All she has to do is hold her hand up, and look at that. It's almost like a scene out of the cartoon. Amazing. Like, hello? Yes, it's me, April. All right. Now, uh, the other thing is, check this out. It can become a supercomputer with antenna like this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and she can watch the Ninja Turtles cartoon series yes. on the, the little screen on the inside. And she's watching it in SD mm -hmm. with a mono mix. Pretty amazing, I gotta say. Yeah, definitely. Looks great together. And uh, it can go into rocket mode, mm -hmm. so she just, you know, rides it. Blasts off to space and meet the turtle -oids. 
or perhaps the Utrams. Actually, thinking Lord Drag might be who she runs into. Yeah, that's a possibility too. It's getting deep, people. Now, as we can see, this is probably one of the more uh, famous roleplay items from yeah. the Ninja Turtles line. We have uh, Leonardo's <laughs> laser katana here. Uh, as you can see, just like in the show, we have this incredibly off, <laughs> this incredibly off. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, uh, <laughs> she can, <laughs> as you can see, it's in, it's in really good scale. It's, it's perfect. She she because she can't exactly hold it, but it, it, see this, you stand it up and you just put her, you just sort of rest her hand on the handle, and there you go. She is holding, she is holding this sword, folks, and she is gonna. She is going to use this to fight the Foot Clan, or maybe even Splinter when he makes inappropriate advances towards her. Hey, yo, hey, bro. What you doing later? <laughs> no, no, I'm scrappy. Uh, oh. No means no. You know, guys, this next skill comparison is a very, very important Sorry. one. See, Playmates, among other things, didn't have the foresight to make any manhole covers for this uh, new movie toy line, and manhole covers, synonymous with the Ninja Turtles, they're going to be going in and out of the sewer. You need manhole covers. So we had to improvise, and the best thing we could find were these coasters that Jared had in his home. And as you can see, they're a little out of scale. I mean, slightly, like, this is one thing that I'm going to fault Playmates on. It's because, I, you know, they didn't give us any manhole covers. We had to improvise. All we had were, the, they should have known that the best thing people were going to have was coasters. And they didn't make these figures big enough for it to work. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I, I, you can sort of squint and pretend. I'm, no, total disappointment. It's got to knock a star off at least. Yeah. Get this out of here. It's well, ridiculous. I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm trying to be stupid. positive, okay? Uh, next scale comparison we have, guys, is, as you can see, uh, the, we actually don't need April for this one, so just get her out of here. Mm -hmm. Uh, the camera, not really in scale with a human hand. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our closer look at April O'Neil. And, uh, you know, like we said in the review, April is a, he's a really good looking figure. Um, I think that it's one of the better, you know, female figures that's come out in the three and three quarters scale in the last few years. Yeah, a lot of female figures um, come out pretty unattractive, and which is a shame because you have a lot of really beautiful women getting action figures. And uh, it's good to see one uh, where, um, you know, I've, uh, nobody likes to see their picture. Nobody likes to see themselves film. And I, would, I, I think probably a lot of people don't like seeing action figures of themselves because they're just, you know, they're, they're definitely there forever. So I'm glad some actress finally has a good-looking figure of herself to be proud of. A few years ago, some of the actresses from the Rise of Cobra, the G.I. Joe movie, they were talking about how just hideously ugly that their action figures <laughs> yeah. were. And they were scanned for those figures. Yeah. I don't know what went wrong. Uh, but I, I think this is a really effective likeness. Uh, I mean, you can definitely see a little bit of Megan Fox in there. Mm -hmm. Like we said in the review, you know, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, like we said, just be careful about which sample you get. Uh, overall, you know, I uh, wish she had a little bit more articulation, yeah. but it's understandable. It's She's par for the course of this line. and she yeah. has, She's actually got nearly identical articulation to the uh, Nickelodeon series April from yeah. a couple years ago. So... Other than that, though, a uh, really great figure. I would say that April definitely deserves a three and a half out of five stars. I think so, too. Yeah, that's what I'd uh, give her. Uh, I think she's on the uh, upper end of this uh, toy line. You know, she's uh, she's better than some, not as good as uh, some others, but uh, she's um, she's very good, very solid figure. Yeah, great figure. I know you guys are going to enjoy it. So, uh, you know, uh, just watch out for her. Uh, April. She's not shipping in every single one of the cases. Uh, some of the cases... Only the Turtles and Splinter and Shredder. Some of the cases have Disguise Raphael in them and no April. Yeah. Some of them have April but no Disguise Raphael. And some of them have all of them. So let's just hope that you, uh, you've you got some locations nearby that can help you fill in the gaps no yeah. matter what you get. I believe, uh, Jared, you actually had to travel to another state to find these, That's didn't right. you? That's yeah. right. I was uh, I was off on vacation and that was the only way that I was able to find <laughs> some Aprils because I couldn't find any uh, in Kentucky. So. I'm sure by the time you see this video, you'll be like, well, they're all over the place. Oh, what are you talking right. about? But hopefully. Not, not I hope yet. So. Yeah, hopefully they're all they're drying up quite a bit. But anyway, folks, good luck on the hunt. Thank you very much mm -hmm. for watching. Uh, if you want to check out the rest of our Ninja Turtles reviews, feel free to do so. Uh, at this point, they should all have been uploaded by now. At least, I know six of the eight that we originally shot are up right now, this moment. So mm -hmm. when April's up, she'll be the ninth and last. And hopefully we'll get a chance to bring you some reviews of some of the bigger figures or role-playing items. I definitely think we'll be doing the uh, the vehicle when it comes out. When we it's out right now, but we haven't found one yet. So when we do, we'll re we'll review that. Yep. When the Turtle Salt Man comes around, you can bet that we'll uh, have it reviewed for you guys. Uh, if you want more, please let us know. Rate, comment, subscribe. That's what keeps us going. The more uh, views and things that we get, the more comments we get, the more we want to do more of these things. So just let us know. That's what you're after.
Absolutely. Folks, thanks again. This has been Brandon. Take care. This has been Jared. Fanboys Forever, signing out. God bless. Interesting figure, so we can't wait to tell you. <laughs> <laughs>